In all the researches for this book, though, what I found the most interesting, more so than the grizzlies and these habitats, was the processes that caused this change over 10,000 years. Processes like fire, flood, climate, that we think we can control sometimes, but we may not be able to. We need to learn to live with them like people in the past. This is a, a Chumash village, and you can see that there's a lot of evidence of fires in the area. There's some smoke on the hills. People for thousands of years were setting fires to almost every habitat in California. And I've heard a term called fire stick farming, where instead of using a plow, you use a stick and set fire to habitat to maintain it with fire. And I talked to some native elders who told me, well, we burned everything, the marshes, under the oaks, the chaparral, the grasslands, and they had a very complicated system of, for grasslands, it might have been every year in a certain area, and oak woodlands, it might have been every five years. I mean, people just now are starting to discover how complex a system this may have been for thousands of years shaping the state. And then, therefore, there's a lot of plants that are fire adapted. In the chaparral especially, there's two kinds of plants that respond differently to fires. One is like manzanita, doesn't die, but has a root underground and it sprouts. Another kind, the adult shrub dies, but it throws out a bunch of seeds and the seeds grow really quickly and it becomes a shrubland again. So learning how important fire is to the California habitats and landscape, I had to become somewhat of a fire follower and go seek out control burns and even places that had been accidentally scarred with fire and go see what happened, observe the land. So this is a, a valley oak woodland that I painted um, near this, an accidental burn along a highway but it imitated perhaps a native burn because it, it was a low intensity grass fire. And when I came back about two or three weeks later, the bottom painting, I thought, well, that looks bad. All the oaks look dead. This is a bad scene. But when I walked into this scene, all the blue oaks had sprouted new green leaves. They had just been singed. They weren't dead at all. And there were actually some native purple needle grass bunches that even after two or three weeks were growing new green leaves. So the whole landscape was coming back in less than a month. Here's a painting in the Tehachapi Mountains in Southern California and this woman has burned over this hill, slo hill slope several months ago of gray pine, interior live oak and shrubs and she knows that in several months she can come back through and collect different things that the fire has caused to grow. Because after a fire, some shrubs will grow very straight new twigs. And these are excellent for making baskets. And she also knows that fires will attract elk, which the hunters hunted, because elk enjoy dining on the new green growth of grass right after a burn.